not quite 30 years old yet, and Kevin Durant has put together quite the resume. 2008, Rookie of the Year. 2012, All-Star Game MVP. 2014, MVP of the league, 2017 NBA Finals MVP, and I didn't even mention 2009-2010 back-to-back horse champion. Now he gets ready to take on the Houston Rockets in the Western Conference Final, and he sat down with our David Aldridge. for um, a team goal and individual, you know, accomplishments, accolades, you know, recognition and stuff, you know, it really doesn't matter at this time. So you just try to do what you can to be the best player you can be, but also know you're trying to help a team win. That's the beauty of team sports, beauty of basketball is that you, you know, you're working with different people to try to reach a common goal. It'll be the Rockets and the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. When you're awake at 2 o'clock at night saying this is what we have to do to beat Houston, what, what's in your head? Well, we got to match their intensity. we got to rebound the ball well. We can't turn the ball over in this team. You know, they, they capitalize on every mistake. You know, we can't beat ourselves. You know, we got to make these guys beat us. Harden will take it inside and get it to go. Chris Paul's been an assassin. We know they're going to switch everything. You know, they're going to try to slow us down. Once the game starts, you kind of just figure it out as it goes. Whoever I'm playing, I kind of got a mental Rolodex on what guys do and what type of players they are. But then, you you know, once you dive into a team, you kind of, you know, replay the sets that you need to guard over and over in your mind, the matchups, different rotations, stuff like that. Do you find that uh, this time of year, brings out the best in you or is it a constant struggle because of the competition you're playing to get the best of you out individually you have, everybody has that pride that they want to go out there and prove who they are uh, they want to earn the trust of their teammates and coaches and fans as well and the organization so it's a lot at stake individually and team wise this is four years to the day since your mvp speech how different are you now than you were then Oh, very different. I was a young kid that wanted everything individually. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it all. I wanted, you know, I wanted the MVP. I wanted to be a scoring champ. But now that I achieved all of that stuff, it made me realize that it really didn't matter if I didn't put in the work every day. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have achieved all that stuff just because I felt like I deserved it or I was entitled to it. It was because I actually put in the work, and I think I was overlooking that part of it. And so now I can appreciate every chance I get to step on the court to make to get better as a player. There it is. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. The Warriors are NBA champions again. Uh, nobody has repeated since Miami. You all got a shot. Do you give any thought to we can do something very special here? You hear about it throughout the whole season. You know how far away it is when you come back in the training camp. And... You know, middle of the season and stretch run and playoffs start. And then, you, you know, you're starting to feel the energy around each arena and the playoffs and as you advance, you know. Uh, but the the hard part about that is not looking too far down the line and staying in the present. But we all, you know, we know what's, what's, a, what's at stake and what can be had if we, if we handle our business. But if we take our focus off of what we have today and focus on that, then we probably won't get it done.